Hi everyone. This is the story shared by Tala from Gaza, a young international storyteller on World Storytelling Cafe on December 15th. It's a trickster tale and I had super fun listening to Tala tell the story. And here goes. Once there was a man called Ashab. Ashab was really an innocent chap. He often believed what everybody told, like many of us. Well, he was very poor too. And one day he looked at his moo his cow and his his horse and decided that one of them had to be sold if they needed to buy groceries for the house poor ashab dragged his cow to the market and just then he was stopped by three young men from the village they were tricksters hmm, who called themselves friends. One man jumped in front of Ashab and said, Hey, Ashab, where do you go with the cow? Ashab said, To market, to sell it. Mm -mm -mm, Ashab, the market will not buy your cow. You must cut its tail, then you will get more money. Now Ashab believed it and then took out his knife, cut the tail and dragged that poor creature to the market. When the second trickster jumped in front and said, Ashab, where do you go? To the market to sell my cow. <laughs> Ashab, a cow without a tail will not get you much money. You need to cut its horns. So poor Ashab believing that tail cut the horns of the cow. <laughs> Drag that creature further towards the market. When the third trickster jumped in front of Ashab and said, Ashab, 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 where do you go with that cow without a tail and without a horn? To the market to sell it. Well, Ashab, that will not do. A cow without ears will get you more money, said that trickster. And Ashab believed him. Cut the poor cow's ears and went to the market thinking he's going to get quite a bit of money. <laughs> you know and I know. That is not going to happen. And indeed, all Ashab got for that poor mutilated cow was just one dinar. I'm wondering who gave him one dinar for that. Anyway, he brought it home and he was very sad. You could see that he had finally realized he had been tricked by the three tricksters. When he reached his house, his wife was furious and then sad that her husband had been so gullible. <laughs> Ashab, 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 when will you stop believing what everybody says? <laughs> we must teach them a lesson indeed. You know what? I have just the idea. And she picked up the two rabbits that Ashab had caught in a trap the previous day. And whispered into Ashab's ear. She had a plan. She sent Ashab to look for those three tricksters who were sitting on the wall at the edge of the village. He walked as if he was the happiest man on earth, carrying a rabbit in his hand and a whistle on his lips. Tricksters couldn't believe their eyes. Ashab, stop, stop, they said. Where do you go? Did you sell the cow? Well, Ashab looked at them. Yes, I got a good price for my cow. And that is why I think I will treat you three for giving me such good suggestions. Indeed. What? said 
the tricksters. You got a good prize? Yes, yes, I got a good prize and I would like to invite you to have some delicious soup cooked by my precious wife. Indeed, if you could honour me by coming to my house, I would be delighted. Of course, the tricksters shook their head and said, yes, we will come, yes, we will come. Ashab then held his rabbit in his hand and whispered something. <laughs> then, with a smile on his face, looking at the tricksters, he said, go rabbit and tell my wife to keep some delicious soup ready for my friends here. And he let the rabbit run towards his house. The tricksters were surprised. What? What did you do? The rabbit can talk, can go to your house? Indeed, that is my magic rabbit. And he then led the three tricksters towards his house where his wife was waiting with another. The same so-called rabbit in her hand. Welcome, welcome, my dear rabbit. Thank you for bringing the guests home. I will get uh, the soup ready, she said to the tricksters. As Ashab's wife went inside the kitchen holding the rabbit in her hand, the tricksters were shocked. You mean that rabbit, it made its way and told your wife we were coming? It's a magic rabbit? Imagine how much that will get in the market. The three of them were talking and discussing. Psh, 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 psh. We must get that rabbit from Ashab and his wife. Ashab said trickster one. How much do you want for this rabbit? Uh, we want to, uh, um, you know, take it off from your hands. For indeed, I'm, I'm sure you can do with, we will offer anything. Ashab was quick to reply. Yes, I don't want to part with my rabbit, my magic rabbit, which can talk and which can uh, walk and uh, uh, understand what I say. But I will, I will um, sell it to you because of your kindness in helping me sell my cow. I will sell it to you for 100 dinars. The three tricksters quickly calculated and decided, yes. 33 and one third dinars each, we will give it to Ashab. And they paid up and left with the rabbit. As the door closed, Ashab and his wife were controlling their laughter and counting their money. While the three tricksters walked away with a smile on their face, thinking that now they had. A rabbit that could speak and get them great money in the market. And as they walked away, one of them felt a little hungry. They, they had foregone a meal and decided to find out if the rabbit was indeed going to do what it had done for a shop. And so he said, we will send this rabbit to my house and find out whether my wife receives my message. So he whispered in the rabbit's ear and let the rabbit run towards his house. Of course, the rabbit disappeared and the tricksters arrived at their house to find no rabbit, no dinner and a a very, very long scolding from there, from that trickster's wife. Well, that is the story I heard and I hope you liked it.